Well, here I am again with um, the third book of The Gentle Bastards being due on Friday. Friday 20th. It is currently <laughs> about 9 p.m. Almost probably about 9 15 p.m. Oh god, what is today? Wednesday. Wednesday the 18th. And I'm on page 249 out of almost 600 pages. Why? Why do I keep doing this to myself? I have three weeks to read this book and I don't. I have three weeks to read the book and I don't. <sighs> this happened with the previous two books where I was like down to the last wire reading them and each book, so like it did it with the first book and then the second book, which there is a bit of a vlog out on that, a little bit of that process. Um, but again, when it came to the second book, I was like, okay, we're not going to do that again. And then I did it again. And then it came to this book and I was like, okay, Carly, we're not going to do that again. And now I've basically got two days to read about 350 pages. See, I think I can do it. I'm pretty sure I can do it. I don't want to get on the waiting list for this book again. I kind of just want to finish it and be done. Uh, it's not a bad book. I just, just don't want to check it out again. So I'm going to start a reading vlog now and it's going to be me trying to finish this book. I would show you but it's on my Kindle because it's an ebook I got from my library. You guys are going to come along and be uh, my... Oh, what's that word? gonna hold me responsible. I'm gonna finish this damn book tomorrow. Let's let's do this. Let's start this thing. Why do I lie? Before I get too too far. Oh. I'll say a little of my own thoughts on this. Uh, so I think I'm liking this more than I liked the second one. The second one wasn't bad, but like, I tried to pull the same stuff that the first book did. And while well, I loved it in the first book, with the second book, I every time they kind of did the same trope or something, I was like, really? Like, again, um, this is stupid. <laughs> but I also think it's not like a pirate person and that book was supposedly a little more heavy on the pirate um this one seems to be going back to a more heist like kind of thing politicalness um and I do like that more issue right now for me is that I don't want to stop whatever I'm doing aka watching way too many youtube videos um or playing on my phone to like sit and read this book so I only read it at night when I'm going to bed and then I'm tired. Like literally last night I bas I fell asleep with this in my hand after only reading about 20 pages. So I'm becoming my mom. What else is new? <laughs> and it also doesn't help right now that I'm having a lot of sensory overload to sounds and there is a lot of people in this small house and there is a lot of sounds. And I'm feeling very overwhelmed <laughs> with it all which makes it hard for me to concentrate on reading and <laughs> God. the other day I did finally just buy myself earplugs they helped tone down the sound but like not completely get rid of it and my ears are actually kind of sore from wearing these we'll see that's besides the point of reading the book but with doing the vlogs I started using my phone because I like the quality of that better um so if I'm filming myself reading that'll give me a more of an incentive to read and not be on my phone because I'm using my phone to film myself. And if I'm filming myself, I can't use my phone. I should, I should read. I'm gonna read. <laughs> and, and, well, you can't really see, I was gonna say, I don't actually sleep with all these pillows on my bed, but 
comes to reading at night. It is kind of nice to have. One thing I do like about this book that I went back to is that in the first book, it kind of alternated chapters between present day um, Locke and Jean and the gang, as well as past Locke, like how he came to be a part of the gentleman and then the Asters. And um, that kept through the entire book, so it was present day, past, present, past. Um, and I really like switching it up like that. And then in the second book, it started out that way, and then past the first part, it just completely forgot about it and kept completely present day. And it was one of those things that I was missing through the whole book. Um, and so far, this one is keeping up with the same thing as the first, where it goes a present day chapter, and then a past chapter, and then a present day chapter, and a past chapter. And that, again, I'm... It's, it's the little things that I'm really liking. One last check-in, I'll probably turn this off, but, um, well, I, there's like a romance-esque thing going on in this book that's been hinted at through the previous two books, and we're now finally, I think, getting some answers to it, and while I'm very curious and intrigued to see where it goes and what happened and how it was built up, um, it does involve, it does involve Locke, um, being in love with a girl since he was literally a child and that's just I don't get that <laughs> I don't get that so I don't really like reading about it but I'm still curious to see how this all plays out <sighs> anyway I'm still gonna read but this will probably be goodnight till tomorrow the next day it's about 11 20 now um in the morning but it's now thursday something thursday the 19th i think it is i don't know i'm not really gonna check right now <laughs> it's just thursday and so i have less than 24 hours to finish that damn book and i don't think i mentioned it last night but it's called the republic of thieves it is the third book in the gentleman bastards series by scott lynch um and I did do more reading last night. I um, managed to get to page 303, which is about where I wanted to end, and that ended up being about 50% of the way through the book according to um, my Kindle. So that's where I wanted to end last night, and I did, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, but seeing as it's 11.20, you're gonna go Carly. Have you read anything today? No, no I haven't. Am I going to read now, now that I'm checking in? No. I'm actually getting ready to go to Costco with my mom. What I have done this morning is uh, finished the show I was watching. Uh, to serve with love. Really good. Really liked it. Um, and worked on something else that I need to work on. And watched way too many YouTube videos. So am I going to read half of a book today? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Finish watching the video to see. For now, I'm gonna quickly brush my teeth and then go to Costco with my mom and not read. My mom and I just got home. This is are you ready? Okay, my mom and I just got home. Uh, it's now 1:47. And have I read yet today? No. Am I gonna read right now? No. Do I still have uh, faith in myself that I can finish this book tonight? Yes. Yes, I do. It's gonna happen. What? I'm, it, I'm gonna finish this damn book tonight. First, I am gonna work on something that I'm almost done with, and I told myself that I would finish today, so we're gonna finish it today. But I am seriously, like, almost done with it. To the point that, like, I could be done with it. But I think I'm gonna add just one one extra thing to it. Um, yeah, I think I could add one extra thing. Maybe I'll just turn it in as is. I don't know. Either way, I will read in a little bit and I will update at that time that I do finally, finally read and then stop messing with my computer with this 
your left hand. Okay. <laughs> that's how that's how today's going so far. <laughs> Wow, that's okay. <laughs> so have I gone far in reading? No. Do I try to find any of and every reason not to read to like distract myself? Yes. So what am I doing right now? It's snack time. This reading vlog is going so well. Yeah, I don't even know what to say. I've got Pringles. There's only a little bit left. And I bought these the other day to try. They're chocolate raspberry truffle Lara bars. I don't know. I went to Target hungry. And I just kind of bought a bunch of shit. Okay, let me eat and read. Read and read. Let me eat and read. I kind of look like I don't have any hair. Went to go set up this camera and uh camera my phone whatever we want to call it um and my cat just ate in which means she gets zoomies right afterwards and she was in this room and then i came in to set this up and she wanted to book it away from me and ran right into me and i accidentally stepped on her and she uh she didn't like cry out or anything so i don't think i actually like hurt her but I still feel bad. I gave her some treats. She's gonna be okay because she started to try to zoom me and run away from me again. So, And it's been like an hour since I started reading at like 3. It's 4 or something now. I don't have like a clock for me to look at. Um, and I've only read about 40 pages. So...
You can't really see me. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, this is okay. This is going to be an interesting clip. Trying to read like 300 pages in an afternoon slash evening is um a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. I've just made it to like page, I think it's 383. And that still leaves me about a good couple hundred pages left to go. And the book is due back at 9.22 a.m. It's only like five something, maybe almost six. I'm already tired of this. Yeah, that looks weird. Okay, this is going to be a very, very weird and random vlog. I talk with this. Oh, my ear better. Made it finally to page 434. We're making progress. I'm making progress. I am finding that I like the, you know, I mentioned earlier that I liked that it kind of switches chapters between present and past, but I am finding that I am much more engaged in the present chapters than in the past chapters. Um, but it is what it is. At least I'm more engaged in this book than I was in the previous book. It's possible I can still do this, but it is also like seven o'clock now. So <laughs> I'm going to take a little bathroom break. Uh, Maybe dinner is ready, get something to eat, and I will probably continue, probably, I will continue reading. It is now 8 p.m. Just got done with dinner. I have, I have dessert. And I'm gonna continue reading. We're still, we're still going strong on this mission. I'm on page 443. instrumental music aka I am literally listening to the same year and I saw it over and over and over and over and over again okay <laughs> I'm literally dying right now my friend and I have a little you know group chats <laughs> like all friends groups do one of them is us to take each other Instagram reels the stupidest shit but we're also all into k-pop so it's all k-pop stupid shit <laughs> she didn't send this one but i found it and it's <laughs> she did say they are well fitted and they are <laughs> but it's, it's your name fan addiction with she sent us a different one i fucking love, love it Listen, um, it's KC1. I'm never gonna see this, but uh, good job. These are good. These are <laughs> I'm literally sitting alone in my room, crying, laughing. I am not reading, but <laughs> this was too damn good not to share. Okay. <laughs> Page 496, which means I've got basically 100 pages left. And it's 9.52. Part of me wants to see, wants to finish this before midnight. Um, so let's see if I finish this before midnight. <laughs> And in the, la the other two books, the um, the last about 100 pages always like kind of ramped up a bit and got way more excited and made it so much easier to get through because I was just like, so I've been 
<laughs> um, but so I hopefully this book will be the same, um, which will make which should hopefully make the last hundred pages go by a lot more quicker than the first five hundred. Whatever. What? At burr. One last check in to finish off this video of me trying to finish a book in basically 24 hours. Less than that. Even I, some amount of hours that was too short of a time for me to be trying to finish a damn book. Uh, it is now the 20th. Um, the last clip I showed was from, I guess, last night, this morning, of me finishing the book, but I couldn't really wrap it up because uh, I'm currently sharing a room with my grandma and she was asleep and I wasn't going to start talking to a camera while someone else was sleeping in the room. Anyway, so I told you, I think in the last little bit I talked that I was trying to finish the book before midnight. Didn't technically do that, but I finished. I'm pretty sure I showed and it was like 12.06 if I remember correctly. So, you know, close, close enough. It was well before the uh, 9.22 time of this book being <laughs> do back at the library. I returned it as soon as I finished the book because that's what I typically do. I figured I would come and wrap up the last of my thoughts, whatever the hell else I want to say. So I know I mentioned the title of the book. Let's kind of do a more formal review wrap up. Um, and at this point I will probably go into little spoilerly, spoilery, I can't speak, parts. And so if you don't, if you're like reading this book and you don't want to know spoilers for it or whatever, then you can probably go away now. I guess I'll just do a little non spoilery thing, even though I just said I was going to do spoilers. But basically, um, I did like the book. I liked it better than the, I liked the second one, but nothing is beating that first book. Oh, it was good. It was enjoyable. It was a little slower, but they definitely brought back stuff that I liked about the first book back into this third book. Um, and so I enjoyed that much more. Okay, non-spoiler done. Um, let's get into maybe a little bit more spoilery. But basically, I was reading The Republic of Thieves by Scott Lynch. It is the third book in the, the Gentleman Bastards sto uh, story um, series. The fourth book and anything else after this has not been released yet. <laughs> um, and the first book is The Lies of Locke Lamora. And the second book is Red Seas Under Red Skies. As I kind of just mentioned, I really, really liked The Lies of Lockamore. Like, I was in it at the very beginning. I was hooked on all the characters. Um, so I, I said this was going to be spoilery. So a bunch of characters died in the first book, and even ones that were kind of sort of in it, like, they weren't the main characters that died. I was still, like, heartbroken when they died. And I have not had the same feeling with any other characters in the second or third book since. Um, like if any other character, minor characters were brought in in the second, third book, if they died, I didn't really have any strong feelings for that. But in the first book, man, I was attached to everyone. I loved the, um, the world. I don't know, just them going to different cities. I'm like, I want to know more about each city, about each of those cultures. Um, I want to see the, um, I want to see their experiences, their, what they get up to in these cities. And um, I think that's where Red Seas, Red Skies, Under Red Skies um, kind of lost it for me, was that it did start off in one of the big cities and then they got, there was a bunch of just, they got on a, like a pirate ship and then there wasn't really much of a city for them to be in. And you're too, there was just like almost too many different locations for me to like care about when all I really wanted was them to back in this main city doing stuff because I was more intrigued into like this main city but a big ch not a big chunk of the book but like there's a good part of like the second half of the book is um on a boat and I just didn't really care so I was glad in this from the Republic of Thieves where they were basically back in just one city it was taking place in just one um you know set and yeah I really I really liked the backdrop of Carthian as um a set for the main part of the Republic of Thieves and even in I also mentioned that I really enjoyed from the first book was that the chapters um, alternated between present day and past and um, that went through the whole book and the same thing in the Republic of Thieves which um, again even though that was taking place in a different city at least they were pretty much set in one city for the whole past part as well um oh god it's really hot in here what else do I have to say 
I liked that the Republic of Thieves did kind of bring back a heistness, um, which is something I really, really liked about the first one was that there was just like a giant heist and it made me realize how much I love heist stuff. I, I love it. I didn't realize how much I loved it until I read that book and I went, yeah, well, like all of my favorite media is like heist based. It wasn't like a complete heist like in the first book, but it was a lot more than them trying to like become pirates like in the second book. Um, but this one was a little bit more little bit this was completely political so it was um them trying to win a political battle oh my god it's so freaking hot in here okay one second so you might get some outside noises but side note my grandma is freezing all the time literally i went to visit her she lives in maryland i went and visited her in october in maryland i don't live in maryland um and i'm like sitting there in a house dying sitting in like a tank top like I literally had to go out and buy myself Gatorade because I was so like dehydrated. I had a headache for like three days because of how hot and stuffy her house was. And I know my mom just left and I heard her telling my mom telling my grandma that she like turned it up, <laughs> the heat up. So yeah, I'm really hot right now. And it's January. Anyway, back to the book. Um, It was all political and that's where it kind of lost me because I just didn't kind of goes back to me not caring about any of the um, side characters nearly as much as I did in the first book so I didn't really care whether what happened or not to them um, whether they won or lost I did not have any great big stakes in the well-being of any character I kind of lost it its appeal the them trying to win this election even though I know Locke and Jean um, is it Jean I always want to say Jean 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 I say Jean that's my French education coming through. My very minimal French education. Um, but because I think because Locke and Jean didn't have any like attachments to the um, to the election, it meant me as the reader didn't have much attachment to the election. Um, and when the election is a big part of the, is like the entire plot, then maybe I should have a little more attachment to the election. <laughs> One thing I didn't like in Red Seas and the Red Skies was the romance between Jean and whoever the heck he fell in love with. I did not care anytime they had scenes. I was like, well, I, I don't want to read this. So when I saw a like, review mentioning that if you didn't like the romance in the second book, then you probably weren't going to like the third book because it is a big romance. But I think the difference, I didn't mind it as much in this one. I think I also mentioned earlier in the vlog that uh, I don't typically like <laughs> romances where like they've been pining after each other since they were children which is literally what happened in this book and um it, 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 it gets kind of annoying I don't know I it's my own personal performances and so that part I didn't like and then also them interacting like it was just, I just communicate like come on let's <laughs> let's talk um but compared to the romance Sean had in the second book I didn't hate this one nearly as much like reading those scenes between them was not like the worst thing in the world um i think it partly has to do with the fact that even though she hasn't sabitha has never been sabitha sabetha has never been actually in the books before this um she was has still been mentioned and so she is, was always someone that was there and so to get to find out that history and um um was satisfying so i think that's where the difference lies um, ending um was frustrating but that could be, I think I lost a lot of information because I was reading it on my Kindle and I was really trying to read it so quickly um, that there was just stuff that like Patience was trying to say and I was like, I don't know what's happening. Like I need someone to spell this out for me, <laughs> um, please. And then kind of angry with how that ended. I don't know. Falconer coming back. Yeah, I think that'll make for an interesting fourth book if that's the direction they're going with. But okay. I don't know what else I want to say. This was very rambly. Um, but basically, so far out of the three books of the Gentleman Bastard series, how I have to rate them is going to be Lies of Loch Lamora, really high up. That was, that was so good. Definitely recommend that one to everyone. And then the next one is going to be The Republic of Thieves for me, and then the last is Red Seas Under Red Skies. Kind of, in my mind, that's a, this is, Republic of Thieves is like a 3.5 out of 5. It was, it was good. It was much better than the, um, second book. Um... But yeah, but honestly, if I would, what I really want to read again is just a book of Jacques, 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 Locke and Jean running a heist. 
like I would be so happy just to read that kind of book again. In my experience reading this, like, I have, I, when I check the books out from the library, I have three weeks to read them, and this is what I keep doing to myself. I need to stop. I've also, I realized that my reading pace is so much slower than I initially thought than it probably used to be because I'm not really reading all that much anymore unfortunately and so it was like I felt like I was just logging through and like two hours had passed and I barely read like anything and I was like man <laughs> am I actually gonna be able to finish this book before um the due date but I did it I don't know what I changed I just I need to be more persistent resistant that is not words I'm looking for. I need to be, I just need to start reading more regularly, making, cutting more time out, like specific time out to read. Um, so that situations like this don't happen again. I say that, we'll bring this up again. Watch me, watch me do another reading vlog and it starts off with this clip of me saying, Carly, don't do that again. Anyway, <laughs> I don't always do reading vlogs. Um, I just, I do a lot of different vlogs and a lot of stuff. This channel is just going to be for me to do whatever the heck I want. So if you liked what you saw and you liked what you've seen, um, hit that subscribe, leave a comment, let me know anything and everything. And I thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Okay, bye! Fast, sitting there praying that the sights gonna last. You got it all on tap.